Hey, what's up you guys? It's Megan Rose. I'm back and I am filming in my car in an empty parking lot at night. So I'm going to try to make this really, really fast because there's just like a giant bright light in my car and it's, I don't want to attract attention to myself at all. So I'm just going to talk to you super, super quick. Um, it is Monday. It's the day that I'm about to post this. I had a video filmed for today, but, um, it didn't really work out. I actually filmed a really long video for today, but editing it sent me into a panic attack. So I am going to try to do this in one take without any edits. The pressure of being in a dark parking lot by myself with a bright light on me in my car, uh, that should help. So I, I need to catch you guys up. Um, basically my panic disorder, anxiety, all, all of my, my OCD, everything really, um, it ebbs and it flows. And my panic disorder recently has come back in full force. And I am struggling a lot right now. Um, started a couple of weeks ago and I had a panic attack that lasted 36 hours, which had never happened to me before. It's the longest panic attack I've ever had. Last week, I also had one that lasted, um, I don't know, over 12 hours. Um, you know, stayed with me when I woke up the next day and everything. And I'm really struggling. Uh, I had to have an emergency therapy session <laughs> last minute. She squeezed me in. Uh, uh, because of this and I'm trying to go to a uh, well I was gonna try to go to a psychiatrist but I reached out to the one that I went to a couple of years ago and he charges $500 now so I certainly can't afford that um, so I'm supposed to go to a primary care doctor next week and hopefully I will get more medication because um, <laughs> basically I was prescribed Xanax a couple of years ago the first time that my panic disorder really started and the first time things got really bad and I was always too afraid to take it because I have some trauma from medication that I was on previously and um, it's gotten so bad that I finally took it. It took me two years to take it and so that's how bad <laughs> it's been. Um, so yeah, I, I've taken it I think uh, like four times now in the last couple of weeks, but uh, I don't have that many left, which is really frustrating and scary because I was calling doctors and they don't have appointments till like May or June and all that. The psychiatrist could see me soon, but it's $500. And so it's just a, it's hard because it's like, I have to go somewhere that I can afford, but the places that I can afford, they can't get me in as quickly as these really expensive things. Um, so it's just frustrating. It's the <laughs> uh, it's just a lot. Um, so yeah, I I just I couldn't upload a regular video today and act like this isn't going on. I couldn't just up upload something and pretend that I'm not really really struggling right now. Um, I'm I'm starting to. <sighs> Or for the last couple of weeks, I've had panic attacks almost every day. Um, so it's just, it's gotten bad again. Um, I'm working through it. I'm, um, I'm trying to work through it. I'm trying to get more medication and get back with, um, I, I well, I'd, I'd like to be in therapy more frequently than I am, but it just, I don't know. There's just so many things going on in my life right now in every single direction, and it's, to manage a lot. It's a lot. I'm not surprised that it has come back as strongly as it has and when it has. I'm not surprised at all by that. Um, really should have seen it coming and expected it just based on how much stuff is going on in my life right now, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, I just, I couldn't post a normal video and act like it wasn't going on. So I just wanted to send you guys an update because the majority of the time that I talk to you guys, I am in a normal, um, I shouldn't say normal, but I'm typically in a calmer, healthier headspace when I film for the most part. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you like a realistic update and, um, it's, 
it's really hard. Mental health is really hard and um, it's so frustrating. It makes me so angry. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm sorry. The breathing, the sighing is a anxiety thing. So I apologize for that. But before talking about this really gets my brain going, I'm going to stop talking about it and hopefully I can just post this without editing because I don't know that I can handle that. So, um, yeah, I will have a normal video back next week. I apologize. I know the last video I updated, I, blah, I know the last video that I uploaded was also just a super quick update video. And so I'm sorry that this is turning into now a quick update video also, but I promise next time I'm going to be back with a real video. I, uh, I went through and found some free resources that you guys can utilize on the internet. So anyone who doesn't have access to therapy or things like that, I try to go through some free resources and, uh, that way anyone who doesn't have access can hopefully take a look at those and, um, find some benefits to them and, um, maybe get to use some of it and get some help from some of those resources. So that will be the next video. Again, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad that I haven't been able to like post just a regular video and all of that. I, I, I'm coming back. I promise. It's just, there's so much going on and I really want to post normally, but I'm going to start doing that again starting next week. So please stay tuned. Um, it's just <sighs> mental health stuff going on. So thank you for understanding. Um, I'll be back next time. Um, I'm trying to remember my outro. Uh, th here we go. I got it. <laughs> that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.